<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the time of the uh, party. And it doesn't quite look like it. Especially when I learned to. Oh, Jesus. people here we are in sunny Chatham on a real sunny day it is and uh, what do I say um Cobra 4.9% mm. 4.5 does that say Jesus oh, I still thought the Cobra was a bit stronger than that that definitely says 4.5 tell me it's not my eyes oh, oh dear another one they've taken the pee out of yeah 4.5 I always thought it was stronger this back in the day was the one you had with the curry, wasn't yeah. it? That or kingfisher. It was a yeah, it was a that kingfisher or a tiger. And this was always the better one of the three. Mm. But they've taken uh, This was five percent. I'm pretty sure to that. If I'm wrong, then okay, don't shoot me down. <laughs> I'm not that bright as I tell you continuously. I absolutely get it now though. Anyway, six hundred and sixty mil bottle was two pounds. I thought five percent beer, that is a deal and a half. It's just been sat in the fridge for ages. But it has a date of July 22, as you'll see when she shows you the bottle. But like 4.5%, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't like this bottle opener. <laughs> bottle you opener. struggle with that one, don't you? Me and the bottle opener. I have to find you a better one. We don't get on. Will someone pinch me off my the one? <laughs> Probably you, to make me get annoyed. Right, Cobra branded glass. Mm. God knows why now. I was going to say, where did, where, where did that get pinched from? What do you mean pinched? <laughs> what things to say to your own husband? There we go. Let's give it a little so make sure we've got a head. And you can take a picture after showing the camera. Uh, yep. Okay. Like that. Let's start with the bottom. So I can't believe that. We have. Yeah, and this is that? the. Can you just state this is the 4.5% version? Do not forget. Do not. Yeah. Unless this is real good. And yeah, looks like a. Uh, Pretty standard lager colour, white fluffy head. Right, here we go, camera. Let me do a quick snapshot. Right. Oh, get my handsome self out of the way. Did you do that? Oh, nearly fell over. Yeah, I was going to say. I've well, only okay. had half a pint of bud. That's it. Uh, we'll catch you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm right. sure. Okay, <laughs> so we know it's an Indian beer, okay? originated in India anyway, apparently so. First thing I'll say, the carbonation has stopped almost. There's a few bubbles going up it. That's gonna put you off straight away. Um, the head, which, I mean, look, yeah, it's supposed it to be. Yeah, it has died down quite quickly. Give it a shake like it? that to give it a bit of life. You did get 620 mil, so you've got a bit to play around with. Yeah, you've got a little bit of um, history wrote on the front of the glass. I was just reading the front of the glass there. I wasn't being ignorant. Yeah. It says, Cobra was born in 1989 when founder Karen Bill Mora, I think that says, developed the beer as a A woman? I, My it, God. Yeah, but an Indian name. It might be a man. Oh. Uh, Must developed be. the beer as a refreshing complement to food. Recognising the gap in the market for a beer that was both smooth and refreshing, he sets about crafting Cobra using a unique blend of barley, maize, rice, and three hops. Wow, there you go. Oh. Thanks to its triple brewing process, the beer has a tower level of carbonation. He's porky pie in here, isn't he? <laughs> Producing a deliciously smooth taste. With, refresh, with the refreshment of a lager, but the smoothness of an owl, Cobra makes a welcome compliment to any cuisine. Yes, I haven't got an Indian, because so I've still got the shits from the last one. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> He does, when he makes a curry, he does like to make a lot. <laughs> I made a mean curry yesterday, and let's just say I made two helpings for me and one for everyone else. But, and I repeat, but I gave my oldest son the other one because it must have been either that or the royal yesterday. I wasn't good this morning. You didn't even have a smell. 
but it's mildly hoppy. Malty, so. definitely malty. Yeah, it's, it's flat though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a oh, hoppy to smell it. to this. It's, yeah. um, it reminds me more of a pilsen, I really like them. More, yeah, no, I'm, it's oh, more hoppy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus. Um, ow, ouch. Um, it tastes flat. Yeah, it does one. taste flat. Sometimes when they look like that, a typical example is a Budweiser on the perfect draft. We'll go on to that in a minute as I think about it. That when a drink looks flat and people complain, but it isn't, that, oh. Actually tastes flat. They yeah, taste flat. I would agree. Um, there is a bit of flavour in it, maybe a bit of lemon. Jesus, though. That's that old school lager taste that back in the day we it's used quite, to love. It's quite bitter. Yeah, back yeah. in the day we loved it, and I would never have <laughs> thought, you know, two or three years ago, or even longer now. Uh, it isn't smooth. No. I mean, it's, it, it's got a really bitter hoppy taste to it it's not crisp it's just a popular drink god knows why it must be these erding these drinkers i think ajb likes a cobra mentioning no names of course on the channel i haven't drunk cobra for such a long time we used to love um, it um it, it always used to be one of those drinks that if you go out and have a curry yeah you'll probably get cobra in the restaurant or you're sitting waiting for your well, takeaway always, we used to get that in um, the, we um, always used to get it in tesco's years ago when we were and up I in norfolk i always remember enjoying it yeah when we lived up in norfolk we was always getting cobra for ages but, and it disappeared for a while i'm tasting that now yeah there is a slight bit of citrus but mainly what i'm getting is is a really bitter hoppy taste oh, that is gutless, all the way through i mean i mean seriously everyone pans a budweiser look I was going to have one after. Pour a bit of bud. What, pour a bud? To yeah, just okay. to, because we like comparing things and it makes it a little bit more interesting, or not so boring as it would be, but it's just poor. Now, obviously, with a Budweiser, we've just done a review on that. Shush, you. <laughs> Sorry, it's talking to me. But a lot of people complain with the Budweiser about the head and how it disappears quickly. We should have poured it sooner, but I didn't think. That's not a bad pour for you, look. And in the Budweiser branded Ta -da. glass. <laughs> I didn't have the right one last one, I had um, this one. Yeah, the comparison, as you can see, uh, let's well bring similar. this right up to the camera. The carbonation on the bud is phenomenal compared to that Cobra. Yeah, but it doesn't. The Cobra's it, come out of the bottle as well. Yeah, the point I was saying with the carbonation on the. You can't always be fooled by the carbonation, but this just tastes poor. It, it tastes, tastes flat. flat. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Well, so we did the bud one earlier, and after we'd done the review, and the bud had lost its head. Don't get me wrong. And mm. I was like, oh, Jesus, now I see what they're saying. But when they said it was tasting flat, as soon as you were drinking it... It was, you were still getting carbonation yeah. feeling in your mouth. Where's the list? Yeah. Look, I could even whack this in, so I'm proper cheating, just to get a bit of life in it. That Actually, it's getting a bit chill. I think that's all right. Now, isn't it? That's a good okay. one. Yeah, you want to hurry up? Yeah, no, no, I've done my post, don't I? See, I'm not that quick. Mm. Whoa! Yeah, I was gonna say, get out of the way. Get out of the way, really? There we go. Seriously, <laughs> you're like comedy, you are. How are you bringing to my channel comedy? Okay, they're looking very similar. Very similar. <laughs> but if you're looking at the glasses, the bubbles coming up. Cobra, there is next to nothing. Look at the bubbles coming up in the Budweiser. Yeah, but hold on. Nucleated glass. Is it? Are you sure? Yep. I think that one is too, though, looking at it. Blimey. It's no loss if we lose it, is it? I actually it think is. it is, yeah. It's is rubbish, it? isn't it? No. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because all my memories of Cobra, it's like, yeah, drinking some Cobra, having a great curry or whatever. And it's trying rubbish. it today, it's not nice. It's absolute rubbish. It's not nice at all. Right, let's give it one more. It's just, it's just lifeless, isn't it? I mean, obviously we've shook, as you've seen on the video, we've given it that It's head. flat. There's a little bit of citrusy there, but not enough to give you anything that's um, gonna balance out that really, really bitter hoppiness. And now, Mm. 
Absolutely way ahead. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Absolutely way ahead. And the bud, funny enough, we've just done, as I say, we've just done a bud review mm. literally um, half an hour ago. Um, the bud, after tasting that, the bud tastes better Taste. than it did in the review. Yeah. And that just shows you. Yeah. That is just um, poor. That's yeah, yours. I'm sorry, that's not nice. And that's a real disappointment because I've got fond memories of this beer. Yeah. Um, the Can't bud go. wins hands, hands down. The carbonation in your mouth is lovely, it's refreshing. Um, the nice sweet maltiness that you're getting there. Yeah, bud it's, way it's ahead. Way, way ahead. The Cobra, I'm not even going to rate it because there is no rating for that. I could not be generous would and not do it drink anything. that again. No, I'm done with Cobra. I would not drink that again. It's a shame because that's such a beautiful glass. They, they, I'm sure that was more. I'm sure it was a 5%. I might be wrong, as I said earlier, but I'm not often wrong. But actually, the Bud is actually leagues ahead. Yeah. When you, that's why I said if you taste them together, because they're quite a similar colour, I thought they were yeah. the same, the same, but they are quite similar. And they are known as bog standard lagers. Yeah. That has got a rep better reputation than that, and that is totally exactly wrong. Because that is quality. Yeah, I guess it's just bitter all the way through. That's, that's like yeah. mm. a bog standard yeah. generic lager that yeah. you're going to get. You know, when you go in your, your, your pub and you don't know what it is. You know, that's along the lines of Carlin and Foster's. Mm. Whereas well, so that is way ahead. And you, yeah, you, leagues ahead. The flavours, you've got you've got the malt in there, you've got a slight citrusy. Everything is balanced off really nice. It moves around to round the carbonation. This is just flat and bitter. Mm. And by the way, that's wine. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't think I actually want to drink it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Dog will. <laughs> 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 right, okay. I think this one's gone on long enough, but yeah. there you go. Um, when you see Cobra in your supermarket and you see it on a deal, don't bother. No. Seriously. Really, don't. Bud's beat it hands down, and without bringing Bud into the equation, that is just rubbish. It's, it it's a shame. Jungle. I used to love my Very beers. disappointed. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure, as I say, the volume's gone down. I can't be 100% sure, but as I say, it's one of them things. Definite, no, no, no rating. If it was rated, it was zero. Yeah, I'd go very low with the rating on this. Zero. Not good at all. Hundred percent. Right, as I say, thanks for watching. If you got this far, I hope this video has been of interest. If it has, give it, give it a likes if you can. Um, let us know what you think about Cobra people. Um, because blimey, that's rough. Yeah, not good. <laughs> One of them things, isn't it? You know, the show must go on. Indeed. So, uh, as I say, like, subscribe, comment, and bonjour.